Hello, it's Nicholas Silvanch. I'm here outside enjoying the beautiful weather in sunny eastern North Carolina in the Wilmington Metro and wanted to give you guys some headlines and news stories and really cool things that have been going on in Wilmington over the last, you know, month. So let's call this the September end update for commercial real estate. Apparently the uh, Landfall Center sold for more than $30 million. That's a huge bit of news. Keenan family's held that property for years and never wanted to sell, but it looks like a good suitor finally came along. Tenants have opened and staffed up a new, new industrial center out in Brunswick County. That's phenomenal. Jobs are great, growth is great. We need to have it. The county's nabbed some more land for a Holly Shelter business park in addition to the Blue Clay business park that they're looking to do. A bunch of beachside motels have sold and our hospitality stats are, are great. Those price per doors were about $117,000 per door in that transaction, just amazing. County's looking at buying the bank, the former Bank of America building downtown Wilmington. Uh, this great glass, beautiful architecture structure on Third Street uh, is potentially going to become a new spot for the community college. Some other news, home price gains slowed again in August. Uh, you know, low income homeowners, homeowners can face some significant changes, at, challenges after a natural disaster like just happened down in Florida with the hurricane and how badly those communities got wiped out. Uh, higher interest rates, of course, are affecting the market. They've affected a couple of deals that we've got going on. I'm sure they might be affecting some of your deals or when you're underwriting or trying to figure out what can, what can we do? How can we make this project happen? Oh shit, the Fed went ahead and raised the interest rate again. What's that gonna do? Where are we gonna be at in six months, a year? I don't know, don't have that crystal ball, but I can tell you from everything I've read, it sounds like we're gonna have some interest rate drops next year. So if you're a developer, if you're a retailer, if you're a single tenant and you're looking at buying a spot, take, take your due diligence timeline into consideration when uh, evaluating what you're going to see as an interest rate and you're doing your underwriting. Uh, unemployment news. We went down from 3.7% to 3.5% and the economy added 263,000 jobs in, uh, in September. That's huge, that's great news for our economy. I mean, it shows that things are still going on, progress is still happening. So people, what are we scared of? Why is everybody in their mind about recession? Yeah, we can feel it, we can see it, there's undercurrents of it, but is it real? Is it really there? I mean, if, if we're adding that level of jobs, I mean, it's not half a million, it's not a million jobs added, but 263,000 jobs when they were projecting 200,000 to 230,000, that's huge. The apartment absorption rates return to pre-pandemic norms as migration slows. Well, yeah, people can't move as frequently as they would like to, or cost of living for apartment complexes is up to a point where if they lose their job, where do they go? They only got a month until they can figure out what they can do or can't do. Uh, looks like we've got a local company, Cloudwise. They're going to receive an $18 million grant to expand internet in rural North Carolina counties. That's awesome. The more people we get online, the more potential we have for job growth and information sharing and knowledge and investing techniques and how you can do things. It's all, all good news. Commercial and multifamily mortgage borrowing and lending is expected to fall by $766 billion this year. Well, yeah. Hello, interest rates. The economy, I know I just said the interest rates are gonna drop, but they're they're high right now. They've cost people deals right now, today, live. You know, it's it's not a fallacy, it's it's true. And uh, you know, those are the those are the main deal stats uh, we've got or main news stories we've got for the month of September. You know, deal wise, uh, there's been a bunch of transactions done. We're about to talk to those in just a couple seconds. All right, guys, I'm back. Thank you for the brief commercial break. Um, it looks like hospitality sales wise, uh, there were two transactions uh, and price per key was about $115,000 per key. Uh, CoStar data shows that we should be about $97,000 a key. They lag a little bit, but that's great news for our, our area. Uh, you know, the next key metric that we're looking at here is the industrial properties. Uh, there were two transactions, looks like $93 a square foot is your average. Uh, and that's based on one facility selling for 126 bucks a foot, the other one selling for $59 a square foot. Good Lord, that was just a warehouse office space um, here in town. All right, next up, we've got land. 
Looks like we had a bunch of transactions in the land uh, subsector of the market, um, averaging roughly $3.26 a square foot and roughly $70,149 an acre. Now this does depend and vary tremendously. Uh, you know, I've lumped Brunswick County, New Hanover County, Pender County, basically your Wilmington Tri-County MSA all together. And that's where we came up with that number. Uh, it also looks here that office space is selling for roughly $204 a square foot and uh, retail space is selling at $137 a square foot. Uh, again, tri-county metrics, individual submarkets, you will have variance in pricing. It's not a perfect thing, it's just some general market knowledge. Lease rates, how much are you paying? Let's, let's talk about lease rates real quick. A lot of folks uh, may have agreed to a lease that said the greater of CPI or consumer price index, which is tied to inflation, or 3%, 4%, some token annualized number to use for your rental increases. If you're a tenant watching this or a landlord watching this, go back and check your leases, take a look at it, see if you tied it to CPI or if you tied it to a flat number. Could mean you've got either a higher bill or more income coming in, depending on what side of the table you sit on. With that being said, we have a uh, <clears throat> industrial lease that was accomplished, roughly 13 bucks a square foot on a new build. And then it looks like uh, in office space, we've got roughly $20 and one cent a square foot. That's great. Then, you know, that's good average market rent. Uh, and then retail, we're about 23 bucks a foot for the entire market. Again, Tri-County, Brunswick, New Hanover, Pender. I'm not saying you're gonna get the same rate here on South College Road or Randall Parkway that you're gonna get on Highway 17 in Hampstead or down in Shalote or in Leland. Uh, you know, it's just different markets, guys. Um, but comprehensively, all together now, uh, you know, $23 a square foot for retail space. Not terrible. And with that, this has been Nick in the commercial news for the month of September. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you enjoyed the deal stats that popped up. Please like, share, subscribe, uh, whatever else you need to do. Uh, call us with questions or comments. We're here to help you. Thank you so much. And we look forward to doing this again at the end of October.